Hello, this is John Pate, and welcome to this day's edition of our live team call. This is the video format of our live team call that we did this morning. And um, basically, I just want to go over a few things because a lot of people misconstrue failure and things happening badly right before success happens. And quite literally, I mean, the closer you get to success, you'll really understand this because it's seemingly that all hell will break loose meaning that your mind is trying its best to keep you safe whether it's keeping you where you were or what have you I mean literally your mind is afraid of change because it doesn't have a program that matches what you've got coming around for you which is the success that you're looking for so you know case in point would mean I, back in 2010, I had set a very lofty goal, and of course, I was doing what I've been teaching here, which is the foundational stuff, being consistent every single day, and I set a goal back in April of 2010, and I diligently went after it. Well, right before success happened for me, I mean major success, I had a catastrophic event happen in my life, and I went through a divorce. My ex-wife had me locked up. She spread it all kind of lies. I'm still fighting the legal battle to this day. But out of all of that, the success that I discovered, even though that was a very traumatic time, and yes, I'm still going through that, and I've been spending a fortune on legal fees because I'm going to sue the hell out of North Carolina for what they did. But besides that, what I discovered was the fact that the reason why I went through a divorce was Yes, I was doing everything that I had set out to do, but there was one critical thing that I overlooked. The success that I wanted or was working towards destroyed every area of my life because I was on the phone 16 to 20 hours a day. Now, a lot of people aren't willing to do that six days a week. I was wanting to do it because I was seeing the fruits of the labor, but I totally, totally ignored my family, and that was a big no-no. And, of course, she lashed out like your spouse is supposed to do. She lashed out the only way she could, which was attack my freedom and attack my money. She ended up taking everything. But out of that ordeal, yes, the next 16 months was very trying. It was very trying, trust me. But I discovered one thing. I figured out how to make sales without being on the phone for 20 hours a day. I literally made more sales from the technique that I discovered through that seemingly bad situation that when I was asleep, I was literally doing 7 to 15 sales a day and never speak to anyone because of the technique that, I came, that came out of that bad situation. So the next time, or even if you're experiencing it right now, you know, just like in my case... <laughs> I know that I'm getting ready to go to a new level because in the last 48 hours, I've had all kind of issues that I generally would not have popping up that I normally would take care of very easily. And now it seems like everything I'm touching is breaking. Well, here's the trick that I discovered. When stuff like that is happening, then you need to be excited about it. A lot of people like to rush towards the, um, the other side of what you're supposed to do. Most time when thing, you know, your transmission goes out, the kid gets sick, someone dies unexpectedly, something like that, something really bad, you know, it just seems like your whole world is exploding. It's like hell on earth. Well, what I discovered was instead of doing the normal attitude of, oh, why is this happening to me? I'm depressed. I'm pissed off. When you're doing that right there, you're basically cementing the fact of the old program because it knows that its, it's time is over. It's getting ready to be deleted because right you're one inch away from the, the finish line for success. So what happens is your mind puts makes sure that it, it puts everything that it can out there in front of you to trip you up because if you react to it negatively, the more strongly you react to it in a negative light, what happens is you just told that program you 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 got the right to stay, <laughs> which is not what you want to do. Instead, you want to get out there and literally say, you know what, stay calm. This too shall pass. It's only temporary. 
if you'll stay the course and stay calm, what will happen is a an idea or a book or someone will say something that will give you a new idea, and then presto, you have a new thought or an idea that you can create a new program from. And that's what it's all about because your mind is searching for a program that doesn't match up to what it knows is coming. So it has to go back to its default program of, well, shoot, we're safe for being broke. We're safe for being fat. We're safe for being whatever the case may be. That's how you do it. If you'll remain calm, do not react to it. You will see the success in rapid form. So make sure to reach out to someone if you don't, if you're just stuck and it seems like everything is going to hell in a handbasket, reach out to someone. That's what we're here for. Either myself or someone in the community, your pastor, your teacher, someone that you can confide in because they can see the problem from a different set of eyes than you can. Your mind that created the problem most of the time cannot figure out the solution because we get so caught up in the negative emotion part. Stay calm. Be excited. When stuff starts falling apart, jump up and run around the house. <laughs> Get really excited because you're there. You did it. So with that being said, we will be back out here tomorrow morning. Make sure to attend our live calls. We do them Monday through Friday. So it's on the page that you'll find this video. Have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to like this, dislike it, comment. It doesn't matter. I like feedback one way or another. Good news travels slow, bad news travels fast, so do what you got to do. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.